One of the great joys of doing this project with the Dublin City Council was I had to go back to my old secondary school, St. Michael's Holy Faith School, and that was the crack. And there I met some wonderful girls who were writing great poems. And today we're going to read Erin's Isle by Rebecca Pierce. Erin's Isle is the GAA club um, in Finglas, a great GAA club. And I'm sure Rebecca won't mind if we dedicate this poem to all the people who are missing their sport during this time, missing that chance to be physical, to enjoy the team camaraderie or the competitive banter of sports. And um, there will be time afterwards for that. Erin's Isle by Rebecca Pierce. All weather pitches, goals, ball wall, and the club bar People cheering, shouting, laughing or crying. Smell the fresh grass and deep heat. Footballs, grass and goal. Tired, happy and cold. I promise you, all you girls, your chicks with the camogie sticks or the ga boy, boy balls, uh, we will, there will be time for sport after COVID-19, I promise. So then we're going to move on uh, to the CDETB writing group. And again, I met a wonderful group of writers up there. And one of the writers, Lean Johnson, uh, Les McShane, uh, shared a poem called The Bone Bank at Kappa Hospital um, about his experience going in to get his hips done. Um, and I'm sure Les won't mind if we dedicate this poem to all of the amazing warrior workers, um, the nurses, the doctors, the care assistants, the cleaners, the hospital porters, the hospital administrators, all those who are putting their lives on the line to help us fight COVID-19. But here it is. The Bone Bank at Kappa Hospital by Les McShane. As I drive up towards the gates, crows fly and caw over the estate. I'm filled with worry, a lot on my mind, but also a hope of pain left behind. I say goodbye to my driver for that day. Me daughter hugs me, then goes on her way. Check in at six in the morning, an early start. I wait to be called a prayer in me heart. Half past eleven and I'm ready to go. Count from one to twenty. Nice and slow. I wake up at 3.30 as if from a deep sleep. In the quiet I hear a machine go bleep bleep. The surgeon comes in and says all went well. It's up to me now. Only time will tell. And here's hoping there will be time for healing after COVID-19. We'll get that vaccination going. Um, one of the great joys of my life uh, and times in Dublin and in Fingers in particular is seeing the change in population uh, of these wonderful migrant workers coming to live and work in Dublin and enrich our culture in Fingers and everywhere. So this is a poem by one of those migrant workers um, and I would like to dedicate it to all the migrant workers who may be worried about their families back home in their countries, or even the migrants from Finglas who are worried about all their friends and family and old neighbours in Finglas. Uh, all of us at some stage become migrants. So this is for uh, the migrant workers here, there and everywhere. The park at dawn. As I walk through the park, I can hear the dogs bark, the river running by and the chatter of a magpie. I taste a breath of morning air and my mind races elsewhere. The freshly got, cut grass I can smell makes me feel very well. I can tell the summer is gone. Dawn, yawn and I walk on. There will be time for more familiar strangers to tell us how beautiful our place is.